taking over, that's a promise, not a threat Uppercut, season, off top, you stop breathing Yeah, yeah, what's good, yo? Welcome to another episode of Real Talk, where, as always, if shit's real, we talk about it. I'm your host for tonight, Pat Scorpio, the New England representer, and as always, I got my man with me. I'm gonna let him introduce himself. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> nah, wait, what it do, man? El Capitan, the shadow work of God, the GOAT artist, aka LB, lot of the boss, you know what it do. RainGangRadio.com in the building. Special hip hop edition. We back. Yes, sir. 2023. 20, 20 plus two. Just don't stop. Two pen, three pennies, nigga. <laughs> yeah. Add that shit up. <laughs> oh, shit, yo. Hey, but yeah, no, yeah, that's good. You know, for us to get our hip hop shit, man. And uh, yeah, we'll definitely. You know, we'll definitely uh, entertain y'all tonight. But uh, yeah, before we get into that, also, we have more people we want to introduce. So I got my other man with me. I'm going to let him introduce himself. Hey, yo, what's good, y'all? You already know who this is. Your boy, King P, Bodega P, Bodega Box in the building. Ring Gang Radio all day. Let's get into this Bodega style. And oh, who's banned from the Bodega tonight? Um, I want to say that until further notice, anybody that pollutes my timeline with this Blue face, Krishan Rock shit. You are banned. All this gossip. I don't give a fuck about these two. Stop talking about it. Like it's annoying. So no, you are out the bodega if you fucking bring that shit up. No. Yes, yeah, sir. I don't care about no fucking simp and a drug addict chick. Like fuck out of here. Like you know what I mean? yeah, they they're like the the Will and Zeta for this year. Like right. I'm like yeah. done with them, them niggas right now. I'm like <laughs> it's too much. Give me Bobby and Whitney. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Except no. my, not not the count, no. Yeah, like no, people should people if, if people were really want to help them, you know, you know, tell them to call information or some shit, or tell them to call a hotline they, they could talk to people to help them with their issues and shit. They, I heard a snippet of their song and that shit sounded so trash. I just wanted to throw throw the TV against the wall. <laughs> Oh man, but yeah, though, yeah. Bring them from the studio too, nigga. Fuck that. The, the yeah. bodega ain't enough. Exactly. Yo. And them from each other. Shit, I'm tired of hearing about <laughs> the toxic relationship, yo. Fuck out of here. Facts. <laughs> Bunch of fucking weirdos. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, you know. And uh, last but certainly not least, I got my other man with me. I'm gonna let him introduce himself. What's really good? It's your boy, Conscious Pilot, the West Coast Avenger number one contender, preparing for liftoff. That's why. That's it here radio. Yes, sir. Constance Pilot. You know, uh, you know, no turbulence, man. He stays elevated above the clouds. You dig? Uh, so, yeah, man, we got a nice show for y'all tonight. Before we get into the music, though, you know, we definitely want to touch upon uh, a, a specific poll that we did create um, about a couple days ago. So I will let P lead us in with that. So, P, take it away. Hey, it's poll time. Pause. Um, gotta say pause for everything but you know um <laughs> new day ring gang with another hot poll out you know what i'm saying we got the best polls and this one is a, a boxing poll you know about a lot of people's favorite fucking network the zone as pat <laughs> would say <laughs> yep. pat would say Thankfully, he doesn't really say it like that much anymore because right? he was fucking annoying with the zone and Saul. I should fucking ban him from the bodega for that shit. <laughs> and I ain't gonna lie, that shit lasted for like a whole two seasons, ain't it? Like, that shit was like 2019, <laughs> 2020. Like, that shit don't, hate my, don't, don't hate my catchphrases, bro. Shit. It's not a catchphrase. You're just saying things obnoxiously. The fuck? Yeah. It's not that fuck. <laughs> Like that's not a catchphrase at all. Like, <laughs> yeah, it, it 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 hasn't been good for this fucking podcast. But the question is, has the zone been good for boxing? So, mm. um, Mars. so, 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 do we need a sub? <laughs> no, wait. Do I need to? I think, wait. Yeah. Wait, so. Wait, I guess- Okay, there you He's, go. Yeah. Hello? Here? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, so has the zone been great, good, average, 
or trashed for boxing. So uh, it's been 70 votes so far. Keep voting. It's still up for another couple of days. Uh, and 34% said the zone has been good for boxing. 33% said it's been average. 20% said trash. And 13% said great. Who is the motherfucker who was voting great? That's what I want to know. Now, keep British. in mind. That's, British. That's, that's, <laughs> well, Ooh. I mean, our UK it's, fans. It's, it's probably our UK fans. <laughs> most likely. I, I, I'll, I'll say if you're in Japan, you know, the zone is actually, you get more bang for your buck. They don't have any of the restrictions. Like, there's Dude, no, no, no. Fuck that. The zone hasn't been great for nobody. Like, I'll give you good if you feel like it's been good for you. I think it's been good. good. Great. I, I, I did vote good, even though I should have picked average. But I voted average. I voted average. Fuck that. Good. Like, what I is, it? Is, is this 2023 or 2019? Nigga? I should have picked average because I, I've been trying to unsubscribe forever, and I'm too late. Man, and you got you got to go overall. <laughs> I'm I'm taking all, every year into account. Yeah, and that's why I said it's average because <laughs> I, I did that. <laughs> For, for lower weights in the UK and um, female boxing. overall, bro, overall, everything. Overall, yeah, yeah. Well, look, look, look at this way. You got to factor in all the resources they have, everything they get right, everything they get wrong, the commentary, motherfucking damn disrespectful ass, um, whatever his name is, um, Manix, Manix, yeah, <laughs> all that shit, the the. The, the mismatches, the good fights, the great fights, how those great fights came about, how the good, like, Andre and um, 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 Haney not going anywhere, doing any, like, I factor in all of that. And with all of that, I can't say it's good. It's average. Like, they, a few more That's things fair. have to pop off for me to say it's great. That's fair. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean if to say it's to say it's good, but great, you motherfucker, whoever voted great, like nigga, like what are I you on? Ban, well, I should ban you from the bodega well, for saying well, great. Yeah, yeah. Well, because the talk. zone, the zone for whatever reason has really, I mean, I mean they've done it before, but they've really gotten into the YouTuber influencer boxing thing. So obviously, if you're a fan of that, then the zone is like you know it's like great for you because they because you know. People love that influence of boxing shit. Like they really do. So then, yeah, you know, because they force it down their throat. Like they they do it. It's almost like payola for records. Like, right? Oh, y'all want misfits? Y'all want y'all want this bullshit? All right, hold on. Let, yeah, so, a, yeah, and, that, and that's and increase the budget to two mil now. <laughs> and, and, and you, oh, go ahead, Bob Pilot. No, no, you know you're right. I'm just saying. I know a lot of the fans. Um, and I'm not trying to. I, I love our UK fans, but I think the UK. Sometimes on all these chats, they, they, seem, they tend to shill the zone and match room. You know, like it's the best thing smoking. That, that's all of that. Well, yeah, because it's, it's the UK. Because you know, Eddie does his best. Eddie does his best. Well, actually, no, Eddie does his best work in Mexico. For whatever reason, his Mexico cards be hitting. You know, UK is it's very hit or miss. Hit or in miss. America, hit or it's miss. mostly missed and hit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Matchroom in America has kind of been a, I mean, not kind of, it's, it's been a bust. It's he can make America. an American star despite he having like yeah. some of the most talented people at his fingertips. Bam's the closest, but you know, at a lower weight class, you're just a little cap in terms of a quote unquote star. Right. star so. Yeah, I like Bam like the next boxing fan, but talent wise, he's not seeing Andre and Haney. Yeah, and then of course, then you have the Montana Love fiasco, which kind of blew up in his face right now. So it's like, you know, yeah. the, the Royal Rumble. Yeah, yeah, you, you uh, Eddie, Eddie hitched his his wagon to the wrong horse as usual. And I love that card. That card was actually pretty fucking fire. But... Yeah, yeah, that's what. The, but then that's the thing with Eddie, because before now it's not. I mean, Eddie when he make Eddie can make a focus card when he's focused, like this. You know, when if he's part, of, you know, he's part of Taylor Serrano, which was like up and down, was like a great fucking card of that year. And and he, and he was and he took us and he was and he took a serious W on that shit. Like he won. You know, but then after that, it's just like it's very hit or fucking miss with them in America and UK. It's like, you know, and he his, because he, he always because Hearn always trying to tell us what Americans want and what boxing fans want. He you're not even from America. What the it. fuck? Like he, he gets away with that in the UK because they just happy to be there sometimes. They're like, they're even they're even them call out his bullshit. Like remember the whole um. 
the Connor Ben, the the Ben Eubank shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the like, Pat and the Greek. Oh my fault. Go ahead. The uh, the the Dylan, the Dylan White and uh, uh, Joshua and all of these other fights that he's trying to damn always pull off that no one wants. Yeah. So, so yeah, that's that's my take on it as far as that. Like, the zone ain't been great. Like, well, well, how about Golden Boy? Because I know Pat and me used to love that the Golden Boy a couple three years ago. They were putting on cards top to bottom that were crazy, but it seems like yeah, they they were, but they lost their momentum. They, they, they lost. They got yeah, top they, heavy. They were yeah, I mean, a lot. Yeah, they were I mean, a lot. It feels. I mean, basically, once Canelo left and then Ryan Garcia was made the de facto uh, draw with, and of course, you know, Ryan Garcia does not have Canelo's type of drive. Or you know, or or even his talent, really, for that matter. So it kind of makes Golden Boy sufficient now. Is now I, I, they, I would like for them to petition to give uh, Virgil Ryan spot. I'm just saying. Yeah, of course they should. Yeah. So I mean, I mean, yeah, Golden but Boy, in that division, it's like it's almost a waste until they start moving and still niggas start fighting. Hey, yeah. hey, hey Virgil's fighting One Punch Man on the zone April 29th. Well, so and, and, and that's what I'm saying. Like, oh, so, so that's solidified. It ain't no. Yeah, no, it's solidified. Well, it's Cap- solidified. And let's, oh, uh, did Jake Donovan say it? Because I only saw Capinger posted. The, the... No, no, Dan Raphael posted. Oh yeah, so. Dan Raphael got. Yeah, he didn't get his credit for it. So I'm getting mad about it. It's like, yeah. So, it. but but at least I know this year Golden Boy is actually really trying to make an effort between that and that nary crazy A fight they just announced, which is going to be a slugfest too. And you then know, if we so end up getting Ryan Garcia and Tank, then yeah, but that's yeah. not going to be on the Golden Boys that, here. That, but it, that's yeah, not going to be on the Golden Boys. Oscar might, seems like Oscar might be trying to sell Golden Boys, trying to cash out <laughs> finally yeah. with all these big fights. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, I mean, it, it really has got. I know Golden Boys really trying to really strengthen its. It, you know, it's trying. It's really trying to get the shows out there. Like they're, they're. I know they're trying. So they, and they so, far, so far, so far, so far, it's so good for them. But we'll see how everything plays out. But it's just like Matchroom is like more or less. The question mark in terms I mean, of they've been doing it. decent for women's boxing, but it's the momentum. Like they kill the momentum. Like like Baumgartner just had all this momentum, and y'all barely doing anything to promote this fight. That's why I said they should have just had the mayor rematch right away. Because mm-hmm. then the momentum would have never dropped. You we'd have been going into this year with them broads still fucking going back and forth with each other. I, right, <laughs> Baumgartner takes some model sexy pictures. Then I see on you know, Instagram, Mayor does the same thing. Like it's just a whole, yeah. Like the they just cra- fucking, yeah. The views were crazy they, on all their videos. Yeah, they, it's just yeah. They they drop the ball on that, and it's gonna be hard to re get that when you're not still keeping the momentum going for Baumgartner. Right, right, right. So it's like. You know that that's why you know we judge we judge these niggas harder than a lot of newer fans because we've seen the sport longer and we seen what works and we seen what doesn't work and you know what I mean it just it is what it is like yeah, sometimes you can't reinvent I mean, the wheel I mean Eddie and Oscar trying to sell us and feed us bullshit doesn't help matters either so. <laughs> yeah and didn't try to justify it and tell us like like that we should be happy we're getting it like the fuck out of here yeah, yeah. I think I'm Cam a, Krusty motherfucker. I've been, I've been trying to unstuck him on the zone, especially after I don't know if it was one of the Canelo pay per views. I'm like, I, I gotta stream this shit, even though I pay for the zone. <laughs> like, and the- that's another thing. They can't be great when they fucking doing the same thing they was getting at everyone else to say. When, when yeah, no, that, that's got the- at PBC for the damn getting away from the free boxing and all that shit. And then it's like we can't just act like the zone. Like you're already not you're already not free. So okay, you don't have a, a Thurman versus Sean Porter <laughs> or Danny Garcia to, mm-hmm, to fucking hang hang your uh hat on. You don't have that. And no so cool, no and, problem. But you can't be charging us for fucking pay per views that we don't want to a Baval Canelo fight isn't nothing special. In the original contents, I mean like you know, like they don't even have any like, you know, other than other than the events, like do y'all, I mean, I don't know if anybody had the zone here, but do y'all watch anything? Besides of course, I have the zone here. I'm the one. I'm saying, I'm yeah, saying, I have that nigga the zone. What the fuck? What I'm saying, do, <laughs> do y'all watch anything else other than the fights? Like, I don't watch no documentaries or anything. No. Oh, maybe the Golovkin Canelo one at one time, but I mean, I mean, these, I mean, I mean, they still have, they still have the old fights on there. But the one thing that I've always gotten about the zone about that they keep taking off is the World Boxing Super Series fights. I don't know why they keep taking that shit off. Yeah, 
Pilot, him. Pilot, Pilot, what did you ask? Do we watch the zone for anything other than boxing? No, I mean, I like, you know, know, like, they have the zone boxing show. You know, like, other, like, other apps. That's just trash, my nigga. No one cares about that shit. Uh, I mean, I mean, I'm about to start watching it for AEW, but yeah, that's about it. Yeah. yeah, no, I mean, uh, like, like I said, I mean, I, like, I mean, I watched the Mora Mannix and then Akin Barak or whatever, but those shows don't necessarily move. Well, I, I, well, I got tired of Mora Mannix because of, you know we already know why. Yeah, we know. Why. I mean, I'm tired of them. I'm tired of Mannix as a commentator. Dude. Why the fuck would you give him a show? <laughs> and Akin Barak is like a fake Desus and Miro to me. <laughs> so, yeah, that's exactly. They're what cool, they but look, Akin Barak, their their money, their their thing is interacting with boxers and that whole thing they did with fun um, where they was getting the boxers to go talk to the trolls yeah pull their cards and shit they pulled they, they they did one with zab that's the content that could make the zone hit the top like that's the shit they need but like, if like, they don't put the niggas around no fighters they not interesting like that and that's like, not to be disrespectful i'm just saying or bring back like the contender, uh, you know, original, you know, something like that. Just some kind of to get a glimpse in the box. I don't know. The, the, That's they, the crazy yeah. part, cause these motherfuckers literally. Oh, oh, hey, oh, hey, what up? Hey, 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 what it do, Henny God? What it do? You tapped in, yeah, yeah. We we about to get into this hip hop, but we gotta get us on this work first. But we we almost done, my nigga. But salute. Um, for for first of all, it's like y'all don't really have like. The zone is them watching all these YouTubers and influencers accounts, and they're like, "Okay, man, make them make. How about they box? Yeah, yeah. Let's make these niggas box. Throw them the bag. Let them box." <laughs> but it's like, why aren't y'all watching the YouTubers and content creators for boxing? Mm -hmm. Like, can't y'all do both? How y'all? How y'all gonna have? one side of the game and y'all supposed to be representing another side you would think they would grab for both right but y'all don't even do that nope right so it's just it's just weird it just seems like <clears throat> sorry it just seems like a bunch of niggas with a lot of money and they just think they could just do boxing it and don't they, feel like it's a lot any hardcore fans or anybody who really know boxing is involved. And they lost like what Billy? I don't know, a crazy amount of money for the Zone America. I know that much. Like Eddie or whatever, or Matt from America. I don't know the Zone lost a lot of money supposedly over the last year or something. Just a lot of, a lot yeah. of bad business decisions in that. Room. Yeah, they I mean, didn't do a lot of right. They didn't do things a lot like her. Like the match from Zone, all that shit is, is run off of too much favoritism. Like. A lot of people could have been matched up. A lot of cards could have presented, been presented in a way where they could have made stars, but they don't take enough chances. Right. <laughs> and that's why no one really got bigger at the zone. You just, you get money and like activity. You know, you, your name will be out there, but if you're not going to promote yourself or do things on the side that put your name out there, you know, it just costs records. Right, yeah, and it's the same because, like I said, because there was a good. I mean, when the zone launched, I mean, I mean, I mean, Eddie did at least manage to get some Amer get a good Amer American fighters, and those American fighters produced good fucking fights on TV. You know what I'm saying? Like, and now they're just like, I mean, now they're scattered to the winds, you know, pretty much. Yeah. Um, and he's not. And of course, now some of them I bet, I bet are thriving without him, like a Haney. You know who, who's in a fucked up deal, but at least he got to where he needed to be. And some are, you know, like a Maurice Hooker or something like that. That's kind of just fell to the horrible wayside, or or Ramon who got jobbed for no reason. You know, it's uh, it's after having in incredible fights on that network. So it's like it, it's it's you know it, it, it's, it's it's a catch right to. I mean, Eddie think now. I think Eddie now. Uh, he's gonna have to really prove something because I mean, because one thing is he still signs American talent. It's not like I mean, next to next to top rank, he 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 signs American talent. He signs a whole bunch of them. He yeah. does, he does. I mean, like think about it, like Andre and, and Haney never leveled up. They they had they got their titles. Um, oh, I know, you know, but they didn't really they, they didn't regress or progress. It was kind of just like you know, 
Yeah, it cops records. They they yeah. put out a few mixtapes or, or straight the DVD movies. They had little Steven Seagal joints. <laughs> you, you saw their name at Blockbuster. You knew who they were. You're like, oh, okay. I didn't know this nigga was still making movies. I, I, and then you kept going on to watch the bigger fight. I, I will give him this. I think he's doing a better job right now with um with the kid um Ray Ford and uh I, I hope he's hitting this up. I, I look at it like this. Matchroom is like the record label that you only that you, you go to if you once you're already like established, you're a big name, you know, because they'll fuck with you because you you already a big name. If you have to develop, if they have to work and develop you into a name, yeah, you don't go there because they don't do shit for you. So you can only be Anthony Joshua Canelo. Yes, basically. Or, or, it's or like Katie, it's Taylor. like it's like it's like Jay. Like if you signed to Rockefeller, if you Rock Nation, Jay only gonna fuck with you if you hot. If you're not hot, yeah. then you go to the wrong place. Yeah. He's he not gonna make you hot. You, you go. Gotta, to, you, you gotta have a fan base or following or a market or so you know something like that. So you gotta be Cameron level at least. And yeah, Cameron. Yeah, Cameron on Koch. <laughs> so so Andre and Haney, they was really more like. They weren't on cam level then. Um, nah, they weren't. What freeway then? Um, <laughs> freeway. <laughs> freeway. Like, y'all and tell me, state property? No, they were Chris and Neef. <laughs> I mean, like, like, I yeah, before, about, about borderline. Like, I mean, yeah. I said it before though. I mean, Andre, you know, I mean, Andre's career did go for. I mean, even though he did, it didn't get him the big fight. I mean, compared to what he was before Matchroom, like he was jumping off network on and off networks. Speaking network, of, and speaking was, of, speaking of no Rock Nation, <laughs> thank, thank Rock you, Man. thank you, thank you, Android. They also won't do shit to keep your momentum up, Canelo. Like Canelo's losing money now. Like the like Canelo. They where where when has Canelo lost money before? They're losing money you know on what, Canelo. Look, honestly, even though I agree, that's Canelo's fault. Because Canelo was on that cherry picking train too hard. That's Canelo for Canelo killed his own momentum. You don't go from fucking plant and almost a million pay per view pay per view buys to fucking fighting a goddamn Russian that hardly no one heard about that's been looking mid for three years. The cherry pick gone wrong, basically. Yeah, and he's a five to one underdog, so people are expecting you to murder him. And the only thing that got murdered was our trust in the fucking judges. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, like the zone, the zone even offered him less money. So that's Canelo fault. Like that's Canelo dumbass. I mean, I'm not saying that Canelo's not responsible for that, but like they're both like responsible for that. It's 64. Yeah, yeah. That, it's that, 64. that's why I agree with you. That, that's why I agree with you, but. It's like I don't want to. I can't just give him all the. I can't, I can't get him the whole credit for that. Like if Canelo wasn't cherry picking, then them fights wouldn't have been on the zone, and we would have had good, gotten great fights and shit. And Canelo career would be looked at differently. We want to be talking about. Yeah, let's see what he's gonna do with Ryder. <laughs> I, I have a feeling that's gonna flop. By the way, just saying, bro. If that yeah, if that's that's view, fight, hey, let me say if that's pay per view, I'm definitely. D- Canceling my design if that if that's some pay per view shit. Well, I mean, looking for me, I mean, I I know my way around to do how to do things. So yeah, oh, this, here this nigga go flexing, but whatever. Stream gang. Well, it is a stream gang. It's still stream regardless, but now it's gonna be, you know, I, I gotta make sure oh, that you know, so. that three letter word, <laughs> that three letter, that three letter acronym. <laughs> it, it, exactly. So yeah, so the zone yeah, basically. Yeah, I mean, the zone. Bullshit. So the zone, I mean, and funny things too. I mean, the zone is capable. Like they do, always produce at least one or two fight of the years. But I think, I think, but I think now we're all waiting for them to have another type of another 2019. If it's you know, if they can actually do it. Yeah, because <laughs> these niggas. Like- Honestly, I think they might have shot their load in 2019. Pause. Well, no. What 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 happened? With, I mean, what killed the momentum is the pandemic killed the momentum. Because, like I said, in the beginning of twenty twenty, everybody they, had to deal with that, though. Not just yeah, that. yeah. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, Top Rank did pretty well during the pandemic. No, I'm just no, no. I'm talking about before the pandemic. Kicked, like you know, Top Rank cards were not that great. PBC cards were not that great. The Zone actually had the cards that were actually coming up. But then once they got once their once that pandemic hit, like they never regained the momentum. Top Rank 
absolutely did. Like they absolutely. But, but that's what I'm oh, saying. You're saying to- yeah, I'm sorry, go pee. My bad. No, I was gonna say, but that's what I'm saying. You're saying, oh well, they didn't put on great cards before the pandemic, but then the pandemic came and they put on great cards. So what's the zone's excuse? And they were putting up great cards before. They shouldn't be able to continue it even with the pandemic, especially when you consider. That's you what I'm saying because way. everybody was kind of like, like you could say everybody was trash before the pandemic. Like, <laughs> like, like everybody was like literally on the same level. Uh, uh, Top rank wasn't doing that great. PBC was PBC and. But 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 the thing is, in 2019, everyone pretty much boxing had a great year, and that was thanks to everyone though. So 2020 shouldn't have just killed it like that. Shit, the zone even started 2020 with a great card. That's what I'm saying. Like they they were the only ones that actually did. That was probably the only great card that they you know from from the three that started off before. And after you know they had the cancellation because we all remember the pro gray hooker shit and. And then, because they already had fights signed, they had the quadruple header signed, like the Kovalev shit, like when it was supposed to defend this title. Like they had all these cards that were already set, and then that the pandemic like kind of killed everything because you know it's international shit. Like some of them couldn't travel out of the country. There was a whole bunch of shit, and they never recovered from that. Top rank at least you know got their shit together and made the the COVID cards, and PBC was just a little bit later on in the year. So it's just like, but yeah, but, but yeah that, that was the weirdest thing, like, you know, because Dizzo just never got any of the momentum back from, because they had to cancel all the good cards that they already had set. But then they never tried to make, remake big cards. They just, right, except, except, for the, except for the random card in Oklahoma, which I did find entertaining, by the way. It was an entertaining card, but it was like, you know, it was, uh, they didn't have a lot of those. Or no, and then of course the Mandingo series cards. <laughs> yeah, and then remember they were just you know uh, pawning belts to Canelo at super middleweight. So I, I, mm. I just want to see if if, he, if um, Eddie will get Hitchens going and get Amo Williams and Ray Ford, those three three American fighters at weight classes that are kind of you know of glory or whatever you want to say. Right. Maybe I mean, it's not just Matchroom. Like it's it, you know we got it's Matchroom, it's Golden Boy, it's Golden. Boy. Yeah, Golden Boy is kind of, I don't know. We kind of know what's going on with them for the most part. We know what we're getting, you know. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just trying to see what the, you know, uh, to see what, what, what you know, what's going to happen with the, you know, with all the people that are actually on the zone, see what they can actually do. Uh, but I think, I don't know, I think people are waiting for us to talk about this hip hop shit, bro. Yeah, yeah. We, there's, there's nothing else to say. Like, um, we'll see if they do better in a year and, um, that's that. The, the, the niggas who voted great, you still out your fucking mind, though. Yeah, no, yeah, no. I, I, I like the zone, but it, it wasn't great. It's not great yeah, now. Like you, you on, you on some new type of drugs, nigga. But um, mm-hmm. 